Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Janie and Gail and Barbara and Sharon and Renee and Joy. Hello, hello. And Gail, hello. I think I said hi to Gail, but just in case, I didn't. How long does he have to have chemo for, Barbara? Is it just like, because they removed the one, so it's just like a precautionary thing? Or, or to make sure that, like, they didn't miss anything? Six months? Really? That long? Wow. How often does he have it? Every month or every couple of weeks? Today we are going to make a couple of mixed media doodads. I need to get something to sand that off so I don't get a splinter. Grab my little sanding block and just get that little rough spot off of here. I have these wood things. They're like six by six ish. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So, so it'll be pill some of it'll be pills and some of it'll be the ivy. Well, that shouldn't be too too bad, hopefully. It sucks that he has to do it at all, but So I don't get no splinties. So we're not going to be using the cards today. We're going to be doing just uh, some mixed media with junk that we got laying around. So if you've got some things that you don't use very much and you don't really know what you're going to do with them, but you saved them. Um, Now's the time to get it, get out that crap and use it up. Use it up. You don't have to have like a wood block or a canvas. You can use a piece of chipboard and make it whatever size you want. So like I have this piece of chipboard. This is like, you know, the, the backs of like your watercolor paper, or your notebooks or whatever, have that thicker chipboard. That's what that is. I'm going to turn off the autofocus so that this can stop pumping. Because it's annoying. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Julie. You, you, you cold over there, Jewelry? Julie? <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut off the, this, the thick piece of chipboard. I'm going 
make me a tag and an ATC. Let's do this one. Hi, Teresa. If you don't have a super thick piece of chipboard, you can glue a couple pieces together to make you a make you a nice little sturdy piece of chipboard or something. Or like I said, you can use whatever you have. Actually, I can make a couple pieces of or a couple ATCs out of this, I guess. And that could be a tag. Just make an oversized tag. And then I'm going to gesso all these things. I need some gesso. There's some gesso. Yes, it's self sharpening. Quiet, Winnie, quiet. I don't know what she's barking at now. It never fails. As soon as I start a live stream, that's when she wants to start barking. I thought you got that cutter already, Barbara. And yes, it's self-sharpening, but I was going through quarter-inch uh, chipboard, so of course you have to put some pressure on it and go back and forth because it's not going to cut it in one pass. It's not meant to cut it in one pass. Yummy. Oh, you have a fish car? Oh, okay. I, thought, I could have sworn you had gotten the same one at some point. Hi, Linda. And Rinka. And Sarah. Is anybody going to work along with us today? Do some mixing of the medias. It's Elvin's birthday. Oh, happy birthday to Elvin. You're sick, Rinka? Oh, that sucks. I hope you feel better. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, you know, all you need to play along is just um, either some chipboard. I'm doing several things, but you can you don't have to do several things. You can just do one or two or one. Either a small canvas, a small piece of like this is a small piece of wood. You can use a piece of chipboard. You can use your hands. <laughs> Just do it right on your hands. Whatever you got that's kind of sturdy ish. Since we're putting things on it and glues and stuff, and glue and stuff to it. And then any kind of scraps or garbage, literally, like stuff you're not going to, you don't usually use, you know, stuff you've been hoarding that you're just like, ugh, what am I doing with this? Grab that stuff, stuff that you're like, 
saving because you thought you'd use it and then you never did and it's kind of like some kind of garbage that you collected you know what i mean like that's the kind of stuff you want you know you can use things that aren't necessarily garbage but what i mean is like things that you're just like not using and you thought you would use already and you haven't that kind of thing or just like chipboard scraps that you don't use or you know you know how like sometimes you'll have like chipboard letters and stuff that are left over because you know you you don't use the z <laughs> and stuff like that that's the kind of crap you're gonna get any garbage garbagey stuff that you're not using um let's see i'm looking over here for what i got some more things over here i know i have a few things here I'm looking specifically for these little things that I had been saving. That I don't know what I did with, but they're here somewhere. They're here somewhere. So, like, okay, I have these, like, little wooden star things that I haven't used in a million years. They're just sitting there. So those, I can use some of those. I had these little plastic things, I just don't know. I might have even thrown them out already. Yeah, I probably did. Let's see what's up here. Just... <laughs> you can have an avalanche of cups that are very loud. Sorry. They fell off the shelf. Oopsie. Oopsie. I didn't even see him there. I just kind of knocked him over like, get out of here. Get out. Stay out. Let's see. What kind of crap do I have up here? in this place I cannot get them. Son of a bitch. Why, why is there gotta be spots like that in my craft room where things can fall and I can never retrieve them? That had to happen. The flowers I just made too just all fell, of course. I'll never see them again. <laughs> oh well, some spiders. little plastic things I had a whole little baggie of them but I don't know what happened to them um but um, I do have um these like chipboard pieces that I've been there's some letters there, but these are like little frame pieces and stuff that I don't really ever use very much. So these are great for layering and for mixed media and stuff. Hey, get back here. Get back here. So like stuff that you're not really finding that you're using very much, it's a good time to get that stuff out. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be anything, really. I have a whole bag of stuff here that... Um, that I don't use very much. 
um, some flowers and some papers. rhinestones and all kinds of things any of that stuff can be used i might have put some more gesso on this wood because it kind of soaked up that first layer of gesso oh is night bought on oh i thought i shut that off the other day I did but it didn't take but I seem to remember doing it right after the auction because I thought I was gonna come back on and do a live stream and I sat and did that much of it but I don't I might have X out of it too quickly and it didn't take the it didn't take nope don't do that Okay. Okay. Hopefully we will not see any more of that crap going on with Nightbot. Put a little more gesso on this guy. working along with us <laughs> I know right and I thought to come say hi to Jane <laughs> flirting little bastard. Oh, see, I have like that thing that somebody, I had gotten it in a Happy Mail somebody made, but I haven't used it, so I might as well use it in this if I can. Okay, here. Anything in there? No. Nothing in there. Oh, yeah. And I have, um, I have like this plastic thing that I haven't been using. And for some bubble wrap. Because whether I stamp with it, I also might use it to put down as for some texture. Always looks pretty cool for texture. Dr. Thunder, yeah, we used to get that all the time years ago. Me? Me what? Hi, Catherine. My hands are super dry. You got a pink and turquoise chair. Awesome. Gaming chair. Dry already. I'm dry you. I will help you out.
what am I making? Um, some mixed media stuff with just junk from around my craft room. Stuff that I don't really, haven't really used or haven't been using. That has been laying around. I'm knocking more stuff over. I'm always knocking stuff over though. Kennedy. All right, so if you got your pieces gessoed, take any of your bigger items that you have, your bigger junk items, whether it's uh, your chipboard pieces or, you know, oh, they're down here. Ding. Even just some chipboard, period. You can just cut up some random pieces of chipboard you have from an old packaging. I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to grab a few of these little things. What else is down here? Okay. I'm going to have some of them, you can have some of them stick off the canvas. They don't have to be, stay on exactly. Let's see what's in here too. What do we got in here? Here's a card. A card, but let's see. What's that? Get some texture. And if you don't have anything really thick, you can always double up and glue a few things together. Got some of this plastic lacy stuff. You can use regular, you can use fabric too, like lace, pieces of lace and fabric and stuff. You can use whatever you got. What I might do is take a piece of this. It'll leave behind, even though I'm going to like gesso over stuff, it'll leave behind. Actually, I might use this on, the, on my tag. And I'll put this, maybe I'll do this on the ATC. And then... This is a piece of, from like a candy or something, but it's, is it corrugated? Yeah, it's got some texture to it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, we're just going to glue it down. I'm going to use some 3D matte gel, but you can use your matte mediums. And just start throwing stuff down. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to be messy about it and not care. So that's the point. It's just not care. We ain't worried about it. It's just junk. It's stuff that we wouldn't use anyway. So don't put a lot of thought into it and just start gluing stuff down and layering stuff on top of each other. If I can get the glue out, that would be fabulous. Fabuloso. I'll stick this down. But you do want to... You know, you can start with your bigger pieces. I'll probably just be messy about it. And I'll take a piece of this and stick this down. You can use your Aileen's glue if you're sticking stuff down like this. If you don't have any kind of matte medium or 3D matte gel or whatever. 
whatever glue you got. You can use hot glue, it doesn't matter. Should wipe the glue off of that side. I'll stick that one up there. But we're just making a, a messy, junky canvas. Just for funsies. stuck in this. Why is there hair stuck in my gems? Or fuzz, not really hair, but fabric fuzz from something. You know what, I'll put some of these on first. And like I said, if you don't have specific shapes, just grab some chipboard and just cut pieces off of it. Like don't even, it doesn't have to be anything fancy whatsoever. Like you could just take a plain pieces of chipboard and just cut it into strips, make little weird looking circly bits. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a specific shape. It's just to give it texture and a little bit of like height. So if you could just take something like this and just cut, you know, like just cut, um, just cut a sloppy thing and then you can just do like voila there's a piece right there just cut that a little straighter just to give it a little texture i'm going to put that on you can layer up some scrap scrap of paper scraps you know and um Just glue a whole bunch of pieces on top of each other. This one has something on it. Does that sticky on the back? No. Okay. Actually, I'll do. I'm gonna take some of this plastic canvas stuff, and we're gonna put. I'm gonna cut it in half, and cut it in a quarter. I'm going to do like that. Actually, I'll do like that. This is probably a pain in the butt to stick down. You can use, like I said, fabric scraps. Any kind of like, bur like burlap would be great. Ooh, I should grab a piece of burlap. I have burlap. Um, burlap is a good one because it's nice and textured. Patreon shows or are you mean the classes or the live stream? I haven't done a Patreon live stream in a little while. Um, but I'll be doing more coming up soon when I do the resin stuff too. I was actually thinking about that for this week. Um, only because I was getting, I've been really busy trying to get like, ugh, I've had so much going on in this house, which is driving me nuts that I haven't been live streaming very much at all, so I wasn't doing specific Patreon live streams for a little while. We are going to be doing a February class coming up here in the next week or so. Um, I'm about to get that all situated for our February class. But, yeah, I was trying to deal with a, a mouse situation in my house. A mouse in my house. A couple of mice got in because it's freaking cold out and little buggers got into the house and so they got in my cabinets and so I'm one of those people that's like a germaphobe and as soon as I realized they were in my cabinets at all 
I knew I, I wasn't going to be able to rest until I pulled everything out of the cabinet cabinets and washed everything and, and disinfected the cabinets and like the whole nine yards. So it's taken me so long to even do it because it's, you know, there's a lot of crap in those cabinets. So, um, usually they're at night. Usually my live streams are at night. Mostly. See, I'm, I'm just not really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of throwing it down. It doesn't really matter um, at all. It doesn't matter where it's positioned. We're just kind of going to work with it. That's the fun part of it. It's just kind of do it. And wherever things kind of end up is where they end up. We'll kind of make sense of it afterwards. That's the best way to do it. teaches you to work with what you got and use your, you know utilize your garbage the crap that you don't really use because we all have that laying around we all have stuff that we're like eh, I'm saving it for something but I don't know what yet you know what I mean that stuff so you're just like oh maybe I could do something with this in the future but yeah it's been three years and you still haven't done anything with it grab that stuff <laughs> grab that stuff and stick it down you know anything that has a little bit of like dimension or texture to it you know works best maybe i'll use a piece of this Take it this way Let's see if we can get that glued down a little better Side is more textured. It's hard to tell. With this piece, anyway, it's easier with the other piece. Oh, crap. I don't care if a lot of texture shows up off of it anyway, but I'm just putting, just going to put it down here. Just going to glue it down. And some of the stuff, you know, is going to get covered up as I layer stuff. And some of it will show and some of it won't show as much. But it don't matter. Just be sloppy with it. are self sticky. I'm still going to put some glue on them, but I don't trust the glue that's on there to hold down. It looks stupid now, but it'll make more sense later. Like once you get it all down and we can add the littler stuff on top of it. So right now we're just doing mostly just the big stuff. self sticky it is I think but I'm not I'm gonna put glue on it and we're gonna stick it right there hands are dirty Sticky, sticky, sticky. 
Maybe I'm gonna stick this down. It's garbage. Why not? We'll just stick this right there. We can stick this one down. Actually, I'll wait till the smaller ones start going on. Wait till I add the smaller ones. Let's take a piece of bubble wrap. Yummy. My little scissors. Some wooden stars. We're gonna let that dry a second and do this one here. Good night, Julie. Let me get back here. It's hard to get glue on this without it going all the way into the crevices. happen anyway. Wipe the crevices out a little bit. Hi Beanie. Is that Beanie or is that Myra? Wait, I can't remember which one's which. The Valza Designs? Who is that? I forget now because I know you changed your name. Now I forget who that is. I forget. 
Who is that? Who is you? Myra, okay. For a minute, <laughs> I got confused on who you were. <laughs> All you people who keep changing your names. You're trying to confuse me. You're trying to trick my brain. Let's start with this one while I figure that out. I might not do that one quite as kooky as I did that one. Mix it up a little bit. Stick it where the sun don't shine. So what's everybody working on today? Shelly and Elisa, hello. Hello, hello. These are, these are very thick. I want thicker pieces. Uh oh, I'm losing stuff all over the ground. Stop it. Because I 
I'm going to gesso over it so I don't want anything specific. I just want thicker pieces. I thought I had some thicker pieces. Um, maybe I do not. thicker pieces. I thought I had thicker pieces of like chipboardy papers. I don't. Not handy anyway. So maybe what I'll do is um, Oh, here we go. I'll take some of this stuff. Here, I have like this fabric-y, weird, nutty stuff. I'll stick that. We'll stick that on there. Hi, uh, Die Die. You're working on a steampunk journal? Awesome. Sit down. Stay down, fool. Get your ass down. Get your ass down. There you go. Stick in there. Stick in there. Stick your butt in there. And let's see. Maybe I'll put this on and oh, that side's supposed to be on. And then I'll cut off any excess because it is supposed to be an ATC. I mean, ATCs can have stuff hanging off of it, but I guess to keep it legitimately an ATC, I'll cut off the excess that hangs off then it'll have some of that scallopy scallopy junk around it so I can get it to stick otherwise I'm gonna have to use the hot glue what I'll do is take and cut that And then that piece can go somewhere else, like maybe over here. Oh, yes. Sure. Why not? Stick it somewhere. Just stick it. Just stick it. That piece is getting a little bit needs a little more glue. That's the problem. There ain't enough glue, enough bulk of glue on there. Needs to be a bit thicker. Need some thicky thick glue. Thicky sticky glue. What am I doing this way? There we go. So it'll kind of sit in its own glop of glue. <laughs> Gloppy glue mess. Hands, sticky hands. This got, I swear this has got like a backing piece on it, like it's sticky or something. It does. Isn't that what that is? You son of a poop. 
I'm already gluing one of those on. <laughs> Oops. It does. You son of a bitch. So that one still has the backing on it, but it's okay. Just stick it. Hi, Chris. So we've got two ATCs, a tag, and a canvas. Canvas. Uh, let's see. Where's that bubble wrap? I'm gonna stick some more bubble wrap on there. Esther and Kim and Jamie and Althea. Hello, hello. Pull up a seat and stay a while. Grab you some junk and start gluing it down. on this guy here. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, maybe this one isn't sticky. Is it? No. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it is on this side. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Do you? I'm just gonna stick this, stick it, roll it there, roll it here. I think I'm gonna take that little edge off, that little piece off anyway. Maybe I'll just stick it there. It don't matter. It don't matter. Just stick it. And I'll take some letters. These will be better if I used my little glue. Hobby Lobby has 40% off all Tim Holtz stuff. They have that, that sale goes on like every other week <laughs> with their Tim Holtz stuff. Let's see. We will put a U and we'll stick it right there. 
and we'll make a B, make a B line. And we'll stick that right there. And we have to get a T. I'm just putting random letters. What is dragonfly glaze? That's that paint stuff. That they have it at Walmart. I have some of it. It's, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like an iridescenty, color shifty, sparkly paint stuff. It's pretty. It works nice over black stuff. So I'll hold this down. It should get on there. Let's see. Well, why not? move it around so much it might okay now let's see I'm gonna see if I have some other little duders I'll hold it, but we'll find out. Uh, maybe I should put it over here. There's a better chance of sticking. There we go. Let's see if 
that works. It's like a little plastic thing. my garbage can. I wasn't sure I was going to see it again. Little junks. What else do I got over here? What's this? Oh, get out of there. one too. on those two, so. I don't think so. Mm. 
Yeah, something like that. Kim, I'm going to be covering them with the gesser. Yeah, you're down. It's just, I have to stick a little hot glue under there. It needs a little. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun a little bit to make sure things are stuck. Gesso all of this. Gesser. Get you some gessers. Uh, let's use a different one. Because that one was kind of gross. This one will work. I'm going to do two with white gesso and two with black gesso. If you don't have black gesso, you could just use white gesso and then black paint over top of it. Gesso on my shirt. So go. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. Mr. Bob Ross. Damn it, this chair. Oh. Is this stuff not any good or something? I can't remember. No. Oh, crap. Cramp. I gotta try to get it open. Ooh. It's stuck. You know what? 
Yes. That'll work. Good night, Gail. You still have an hour of work? Uh oh. That's not fun. Where do you work at? Or what do you do? You don't have to tell me specifically where you work at, but. <laughs> gesso very much. It's a very sticky gesso. I'm feeling my, I was going to say, I'm feeling my star is going to fall off. That's all right. I'll hot glue it on. I'll just let that dry and then I'll shove it on. I didn't let it dry or put it on very well, I guess. Utilities repair? Oh. Like, as in like water, electric, something like that, utilities? I bet you're busy this time of year. This is where you gotta look at all different angles to make sure you don't see any white showing or any other color. On the sides and stuff. Whoa. And this is also where it gets messy because I've gotta hold it where I just of it. Because I'm too lazy to wait till it dries. sticky gesso.
Welcome. <sighs> Hi, Laura. Yucky. Can't take me anywhere. end up with more on my hands than I do on the canvas. Need that to keep that from drying out. Pounce it on in. Very aggressive with that gessoing. Very aggressive gessoing going on. Carlos. Yep, we're doing some aggressive gessoing.
right, I need a smaller brush. So that now I can get into the little areas that I see some white sticking out. Little bits of white sticking out in places. the bit. Are you going to watch from bed? chat from there we just won't hear you <laughs> you can just yell at the screen Jamie, welcome back. Hi, Sharon. Did you take? Did you leave too, and then come back? Need a little more of the white gesser.
I don't have a star or something that fell off over here. What do I do with it? There it is. Wheel. I forgot to fix it. I forgot to fix the sides of it. It needs to be just a little bit. I'll just use it out of the cap here. That should be enough. Again, got more on my hands than I did on the piece I was working on. Hot mess, hot mess. You're working on your project? What are you working on? <laughs> Maybe what's happening, huh? Yeah. Maybe was sending me Am uh, um, Amazon Echo messages last night. <laughs> One of them, she says, what's happening, hot stuff? <laughs> so I played her the clip from 16 Candles where the guy goes, what's happening, hot stuff? <laughs> Long duck on. Duck dong. Why is this caught? Nice. Oh, I need to go over here, little dude. There you go. That's better. Oh, I need to fix this. I need to go here because you didn't stay on there very well. That's better. Good. Oh, you were? Oh, okay. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were watching the movie. <laughs> I didn't know you even knew, you know, I, I just assumed maybe you didn't know that movie at all. I just thought you were saying it to say it to be silly. Have you ever seen um, Pretty in Pink, Janie? That's the movie that's in my top five favorite movies. Once you've got your thing gessoed and put all that stuff in your crapola. This one's chipboard, but it's a little bent. There we go. 
This one is a little bent, but that's because it's a piece of wood and it's not perfectly flat. All right, is this one dry enough for me to do stuff with? What about this one? Let me try. I think you are. Mm, maybe not quite. We're going to put those over there a minute. Which one, um, um, pretty in pink? It's got Molly Ringwald in it. Let's see. I'm going to use some sprays. I think I'm going to use my permanent sprays though. Which, uh, I may have screwed up. for this one anyway. I'm just going to play and see what we get. Oh, you have seen that one too? Maybe I'll use the other sprays on that one. This one I want to do, you know what? Let's start with the yellow. that dry for a little bit. And I'm going to grab a couple of other colors to use on this one, which will be a little lighter. I think. Thank you. 
Different pinks and I think I like those Lindy's ones. What color is that? So these two are kind of on the orange side, and the rest of these are pinky. Purpley? Who's teasing you? Me? Hi, Aunt B. Aunt B. so I don't mix them up. Don't want to do that now, do we? No, we do not.
Tour. There we go. Dirty go. Dirty dirty dirty. Dirty dirty dirty. stuck. We just all kinds of stuck in there. <laughs> well, I don't have any other pink. Damn it. That's the only pink I have. Dang it. Well, we're just going to have to use a brush. Ain't so sturdy on that one. That's what we got so far. So far, now with this guy here, I'm not loving the color on it. I might go resort to the permanent ones because they might look better. But the orange, why am I missing my orange one? Is that up here? No, I don't see it. I know I got an orange. Oh, wait, is this the orange? No, that's the bronze color. Hmm. Where's the freaking orange at? 
Let me see if it's over here. Maybe I stuck it somewhere else. Or if I stuck it in here. It should have a P on it if it's a letter P if it's the permanent ones, I think. There it is. Found it. Do we have P's in here? Orange. Do you make orange? Yeah, I make all different kinds. These are my permanent ones. I love these the most, I think. I play with these lately the most. I make my own oxide sprays. These were a mistake that I accidentally made that came out really cool because they're permanent. Um, so we want this color. We want this pink. Oh, the pink's broken. soak that for a little while and possibly fix it. So we're going to stick that over there. Or I can just get another spray bottle. What do I do with them? Let's see. Uh, let's see. I have them over here. Spray bottle. Um, what did I do with this? I don't know where I put the spray bottles. I had a bunch of them, but they're somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where, but they're somewhere around. So, what's that one? Oh, I could put it in this bottle because I don't need this as a water bottle because I have a water bottle here. So, I'll dump out the water and use that. What does Tuesday morning have? What they call perks. All it is. What do you mean, what does Tuesday morning? Have you not been in a Tuesday morning, Laura? Or are you talking about something else? This one, I need to mix it and make sure. It's not my normal bottles. These are my normal bottles. That's why the lid don't fit. Where the hell is the lid? None of those fit. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. 
So we got pink, we got the orange, and then we can do like this darker kind of red color at the top. Um, let's see. Do I want this better? Mm, nah. Let's do the purple. Lavender, not the dark. Maybe I'll add a little of the dark at the very top or something. Ugh. Are you gonna give me one of those small bottles too? These bottles suck. They suck. <laughs> yep, these bottles suck big time. There we go. I think I can get it to work. messy. They're definitely messy. The star? You making a star? later. My hands are covered in stuff. This one back over. I like that one. That one looks cool. Well, 
Oh, that's right, I have the autofocus off, so <laughs> duh, it's not gonna focus any more than that. Okay, so this one's almost dry, mostly dry. All right, and then the black ones, I'm going to do some interference on those. Which one of you took it? Who took the cap? Cap to that one, let's see. Did I drop it on the floor or something? I don't see it. Okay, so much for that one. Hi, Frosted Pumpkin. Laura, are you asking me if I'm going to be on longer? Well, I'm not done yet, so yes, I will, Miss Ma'am. I surely will. Let's see. Okay, we got some. Uh oh, got some green. We got some. Some purpley. That's the magenta. This is the purple. Yeah, some blue. And a turquoisey color. Or whatever. Whatever color that is.
all the colors are not going to show up on it probably but yeah it doesn't show all the colors but it's got green and blue and purple it's much brighter in person unfortunately camera does not like to pick it up I'm wondering if I can let's see get this to do something Hmm. Hmm. Not really. I wish this thing would focus better. Anyway, can't get it to show up very well. Unfortunately, it's much brighter in person. Much brighter in person. Now this one I'm going to paint. Um, or I'm just going to put a rub over top of that one. This one I'm going to put a, um, a black wash on top of this one after it's a little bit more dry. And this one, I'm just going to use my rub thing, rubby things on there. Uh, what color? I'm going to do a couple different colors though. I'm going to do some funky colors. This one's kind of green. I'm just kind of doing like I did with the interference, except I'm just rubbing it on top instead of painting it all over. Kathy, thank you.
two blues are kind of similar to each other. Not completely, but a little bit. I'm not going to put much of that because it looks sort of similar to the other blue. I don't want to be overkill in the blue. a bit different than the other one. Really soft. Ooh, softy. Softy, softy. Soft, soft, eh? Very soft. Very soft. Right, now we need to go back to the turquoise. I need to add a little more of that. Move some of it in here.
Alright. A little brush. Stick some color on with a little brush and some spots. Alright. That one's got all the different metallic colors. All the metallic colors. And this one has all the interference colors. They look similar. It's hard to see on this one, but. anyway hey stop falling over drunk they're drunk now what I need is black I don't need those but I do need some black do I want to use paint or spray Mm. I 
Maybe I'll do paint. Mm -mm -mm. Where's my black regular paint? Oh, right here. It's goopy. Let's see if I can oh, let's see if it's if there's any like I think it'll break up. Let's see. We'll see, we'll add water. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I need a big brush like this. I'm gonna do the small one first. Tiffany. See, it don't look cool. For some reason, it looks terrible on the camera. I can't get it to look normal. Where's my phone? I can make it look better. I'm not be able to show a picture of it. I'll show it through my phone. For some reason, it'll look better than, you know. Let's see. Okay, let's see if you can see it now better. I'll post it in the group because you'll be able to see it better if I post it in the group. You'll be able to see the color better. Okay, I just put I just posted it in the group. Go look at it there because you'll be able to see the colors better than you can see here. Here it just looks a lot like blue and black. And it's so hard to see the colors better. Um so go look, I posted it in the group. Uh these are not wax, these are actually like an acrylic based, but they're deco arts metallic lusters. I mean, I think they have wax in them, but they're mostly acrylic, more more on the acrylic base than wax. They're not like those other ones that are like waxy, waxy, 
waxy, waxy, wax on, wax off. They call them wax, but really I think they're mostly made up of acrylic. What you do is you put the watered down black in. And you put lots of it on, keep it real wet. And it'll seep, seep into all the crevices. And then when you wipe it back with the, or blot it with the, the baby wipe, it'll take off the top layer of black and you'll have all that funky color underneath. And you just take a damp baby wipe and just kind of blot it, blot it away until you get the desired, excuse you, colors that you want. I'm making a mess. Get off me. Covered in paint. And then the black will remain in the crevices and if for some reason you lift up too much of the black you can always go back in and put some more on you know so it's really not a big deal It gives it that kind of, um, what do you call it, like a, like that titanium rainbow look, kind of. Dry cloth is good. And sometimes it might take off a little bit of your metallic. You can always go back again and add a little more on. Or you can leave it, you know, grungier looking. I think the interference paints, which was on this one, I think they work better, in my opinion, than the metallic lusters. Because the metallic lusters are good, but I end up with like more color with this one than the, than the metallic lusters. is a lot more subtle and more grungy, which is fine, because then I'm going to go over it with another, with um, a gold or whatever. And so it's more subtle if you, use, if you use these throughout the whole thing, but if you use the interference, it's much, it's a little more punchy. It's got a little more, a little more color to it.
this one's much brighter. Much brighter. Oh, that's not, it keeps falling over. Jesus. This whole room is like a disaster in here. I'm going to add a little gold to this one, which will again brighten it up a little bit. That one's a little more on the grungier side. Again, it's harder to see on camera than it is in person. I'll take a picture of that one too and put it in the group. a little better on there but I'll post it in the group too it's easier to see easier to see okay I posted that in the group and then these guys, I'm just going to add, um, I don't know, maybe I'll add some black to these too. Actually, not to this one. That one I'm going to do something else with. Hmm. Maybe I will do... Maybe I'll just do the gold on this one. A little punch of metallic in there. 
and I'll darken the edges of that. And this one, let's see, um, what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with you? I'm thinking, let me move these out of the way for now. Okay, uh, where's my white spray? Do the same thing I did with that one, except just spray it down with white and then, uh oh, or not. <laughs> it's that same type of nozzle or the same bottle. The little bottles suck for some reason. Hmm. Little bottles suck. Why you gotta suck so bad? I'll put it down here.
just focus, dumbass. It's not that hard. Whatever. This camera sucks butt. It sucks butt. Hate it. I just didn't. It wasn't. It didn't have something. It was missing something. I like it now. It's cool. Cool. And that looks better in the picture that I posted. And so does this one. See, now you can go back and like put a focal point if you want or just leave it like this and you could put like maybe just words on it or something like tiles of some sort or something or just leave it the way it is they look cool like that regardless same with this you can put something else on it or just put a hole in it and stick a thing on it put my I don't know where they are oh they're up here the little word tiles and stuff like I can make some that go that are like you know Through that while the little tiles I made. This one.
hold it. That one might be a little big. And that one says three spit. Okay.
They all have a little saying on them. <laughs> you ate a whole sleeve of Ritz. What did you do that for? What did you do that for? I like this one a lot. That one came out cool. They all came out good. I like them all. I like them all. I do. I do. Guess I don't need that anymore. Grossness. My hands are disgusting. Disgusting, I tell ya. Thanks, Sarah. And everyone. Fun, fun, fun. So hopefully you guys will give it a try sometime to do something like this. Just use your junk to make pretty things. We all need to use up our junk. Gotta use up our junk. We have lots of junk. We all have lots and lots of junk. <laughs> Yep, I do. I have a video where I made the tiles. Um, they're called, I think, just if you look on my channel, you could do, you know, you could do a search on my videos. Just look up Word. I think they're called Word titles, Tiles. Clay Word Tiles. They're really easy to make. Stop it. Phone's going off. But I'm going to get off of here because I got up really early today, actually. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. Because <laughs> I actually was really tired last night and I ended up going to bed really early. So, I'm going to get off of here because I'm getting tired. But thanks everybody for hanging out. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun playing around. I haven't done anything mixed media in a long time. And I figured we didn't do mixed media with the cards, but we did something else that's still mixed media. But yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, thanks, Janie. See, Janie got the Janie got the, the, the link. She knows how to find all the things. <laughs> But have a good night, everybody. Ew, my hands are gross. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Poodle pack out. Pink poodle crab.
Let's join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.